there is a huge bug. My conversions are counted twice. I just installed conversion API and everything is doubled. What's going on? Is this a serious problem? Is there an issue with Pixel Your Site or with Facebook or with conversion API? I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. And in this video, I will explain a very important um, think about how the duplication works and how Facebook shows you data about events inside your events manager. Uh, as you will see in this video, there is something quite misleading in the way Facebook shows um, data about the number of the events they received. Why is that? Well, the reason is simple. They have, a, let me show you, they have this um, section in, in, in the events manager where where you can we can see the number of events facebook gets so for example this is purchase and uh, right here i have 18 purchases but chances are that in reality there were less than 18 transactions on my website in fact uh, there were probably nine transactions in this specific case but 18 purchase events and uh, I have users and clients that uh, see this uh, information and immediately they uh, contact us saying that there's something wrong uh, with the plugin, there's something wrong with conversion API, their transaction numbers are uh, wrong and inflated and of course they want to uh, find a solution really fast. But in reality the numbers here are for the total events received, so not processed. And there is this text right here explaining um, the situation. Before being processed, some of the events received may be discarded as a result of deduplication, data policy and regulations. The important thing here is deduplication, because uh, when you send conversion API events, in reality, you or we send a, a pair of two events, a browser event and a conversion API event, a event. Each event will have the same name and the same event ID. When Facebook gets an event with identical name and identical event ID, one uh, sent by brow the browser and one sent by conversion API using conversion API, they will deduplicate the server event. So only one of the events will be processed, the browser event. So in this case, yes, the total number of events is 18, but the processed number of events, it will be nine. So nine browser events will be processed and nine conversion API events will be deduplicated. In this case, sometimes, the browser event doesn't work and this is where the conversion api event gets processed that's the the, the role of the conversion api event to to work as a, a backup for the browser event when the browser event uh, doesn't work for some reason it's for example ad blockers so in this particular scenario you will see 18 events received but this doesn't mean that uh, conversion api events are processed no they will be deduplicated so this is a, a very easy to do confusion now uh, if you go and look for details uh, right here and of course mm, I don't have enough data, but, oh yes, I, I do. Recent activities, if you go here on recent activities, you will see the events that were uh, processed. And in my case, all the browser events were processed and none of the server events were processed because there was a browser event uh, in place. So uh, actually this is the real uh, data with processed events under recent activities. And you can move your mouse over the URL and you'll see uh, almost a full URL without some parameters. But you will see the URL uh, where the event was triggered and it will help you to understand if um, some events were sent twice. Okay, so 
Uh, this is an easy way to explain uh, the problem. If you see the, such uh, inflating numbers, don't worry. Look careful and try to understand if there is a problem for real or if it's just the way Facebook shows us um, data about events. Uh, again, uh, it's important that all your events have um, the same name. Uh, when, when you use Conversion API, the pair of events, browser and server, have the same name and the same event ID. If you use Pixel your site, we will take care of things. But sometimes you do have a problem with the duplication, um, where the duplication doesn't work. And this is when you install events using something else, not just Pixel your site. So if you install events uh, using code, using uh, theme settings, using other plugins, even if you use uh, events manager event setup tool or uh, track events automatically without code even if you use these two tools uh, you will have the problem with the duplication um, because we are not able to deduplicate this kind of events they don't have the mandatory event id so the idea is use just pixel your site to file your events use our default events if you need to add more events use our events page and add events from there don't use other tools don't enable uh, event um, track events automatically without code this here turn it off keep it off don't add events using event setup tool don't add events using google tag manager uh, don't add events with anything else because those events will not have the mandatory event id and will and will not be deduplicated but if you use only pixel your site it's usually fine because we always have the event ID. Uh, 